Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connection video. We're exploring the crystal of blue topaz. Now, topazes are a really interesting set of crystals. They come in a really fascinating range of colours. You'll get ones like the blues and they'll kind of go all the way to clear. And then kind of on the other end of the spectrum, you get all these really nice warm colours. So you get like an imperial topaz, which is this orange. You can get pink topaz and champagne, which are a bit more brown as well. And although probably when we think of topazes, we normally think of jewellery, the really interesting thing is, is you dive in deeper to understand topazes and look at the history, you'll realise that they've been used for a whole range of metaphysical, spiritual and emotional healing aspects. So in this video, I want to take you on a bit of a journey to appreciate blue topaz. Now, whether you've got it in a piece of faceted jewellery or maybe you've got a little tumbled stone or a raw piece like this, you can use that magically in a whole range of different ways. So let's dive in and explore blue topaz. Just by looking at the soothing blue colour, you can tell that this crystal is going to help to create an atmosphere of relaxation, bliss and just chilling out. So if you want to make a space a bit more relaxed, then definitely a blue topaz would be really great. Maybe in a lounge room or just where you wind down at the end of the day would be really great to even put four pieces in the four corners of a room. Anywhere else where you'd like people to get along with each other, then again, this would be really great as it allows you to quieten down and not only quieten down the external noise but also the internal noise it really allows you to tune into your inner guidance what you'll find is as you start to develop a relationship with blue topaz you're going to find that your angels your guides your totems your ancestors they're going to be able to guide you a little bit more because you're actually listening and paying attention to the guidance within you and around you as well Blue topaz is absolutely perfect to have if you're a reader or a healer, to follow your intuition and to be able to guide whoever you're working with on the path that they need to be guided on that day. Now, the other interesting thing is, in the introduction, I talked about the variation in the colours of topazes. So you get these cool coloured ones, like the blues and the whites. And I find these, as opposed to the warm ones, your oranges, your pinks and your champagne browns, are kind of, you know, you kind of have a lunar, and a solar power. So we know that we have good old moonstone and good old sunstone. And when we're starting off with crystals, these might be really good too to help balance our masculine and feminine sides, to work with the solar cycles or the lunar cycles and so on. But as we want to kind of grow as a person, we might want to actually step up a little bit. And so the topazes are actually the high octave above moonstone and sunstone. So you have here blue topaz, a higher octave than moonstone and imperial topaz are high octave than sunstone. So when you're really wanting to work with that lunar magic, for whether it be wishcraft, whether it be creative visualization, whether it be setting an intention, whether it be a healing, whether it be manifesting something, whether it be enhancing your intuition, whatever that may be, when you're ready to do spectacular and powerful work, then really reach for blue topaz. Wearing it around the days of the full moon can help you to uh, maintain and establish your power rather than get swept around in the kind of the the wave of um, you know emotionality and overwhelming um, energies that can sometimes disrupt some people with the full moon especially if you're quite sensitive you know this has a really quite a noble energy to it you know we've got our rubies and our emeralds and our sapphires and garnets and topazes are up there as well as helping us to maintain our highest most um, most powered self and not to kind of fall victim to our our constant yearnings or you know little things that upset us in that way so really to hold your own what I also love though is blue topaz works really well around like the full moon in Leo now the full moon in Leo is all about pleasure play and leisure how do we enjoy our lives more how do we get more out of it if you look at a lion if you if you have a Leo in your life you know that they're very big-hearted and they give a lot but they also enjoy their life. They must enjoy their life. And if they're not enjoying it, it's not right. And that's what we do on the full moon in Leo is we lean into that energy and blue topaz can really help us just to chill out. Stop working so hard. Enjoy yourself and bring that into manifestation and lock it in on that full moon in Leo. Now being a blue crystal, of course, this is going to work really well with the throat chakra. So we've got this throat chakra energy, but also this very calm and chilled out energy as well. So what does that mean blue uh, topaz is really great for? For helping to calm and soothe our communication. If you're someone who sometimes gets a little bit fired up, 
a little bit snappy or if you're worried about someone like that this is again leos can sometimes be a bit fiery this is a really nice one to make sure that you don't say something now that you'll regret later you know words even once they leave our mouth even if you say sorry the, the burn is already there and the scar is left so this is a really nice one for helping us to just be a bit more kind of concise and clear and calm and centered with our communication so if you find that you get nervous or if you get a bit angry then this is going to be a really great one to wear near the throat chakra as a necklace something like this would be doesn't have to be as a light as this anything simple will be really really nice in that way now as we feel more uh, kind of calm with our um, communication as well it also allows us to start working divinely because when we speak our words we're planting seeds along the path of our future and so as you speak calmly and concisely and um, more exact on what you're actually trying to get across this allows you to send out a vibration that the universe can resonate with and bring into manifestation this crystal is also a really great one for a child or a teenager or even an adult i guess that's kind of getting bullied um or feels disempowered in in another way um it allows them to kind of settle their energy and not lash out or get violent in that way you know we there are many children that you may be dealing with that you may be in your life in some way that you're you're helping out or assisting who something has happened to them in the past and they now their only way to kind of regain their power is by trying to be aggressive or to try and be violent or to do you know nasty things in that way blue topaz is going to be a really great one for them to find another way to get rid of that energy by expressing themselves not through their actions but through their words through their emotions through being more in touch with those higher faculties in that way and even you know being able to rationalize at a high level as well so whenever you need your communication to be clearer more concise more chilled out and more powerful and potent in manifesting the life you want reach for your blue topaz I also find that blue topaz is a really kind of justice stone as well. This is something that should be at any trial, any hearing, any meeting to make sure that each person is given the opportunity to clearly express their perspective or their point of view. And so that decisions can be made based on everyone's truth rather than a distortion of the truth or uh, you know some people being silenced and other people being manipulated or anything like that. So it's really nice in that kind of fairness in that way. So when you wanna make sure that everyone gets to speak, you definitely wanna have your blue topaz around. Now, the other interesting thing I've found that historically blue topaz is really good for protecting birds which, uh, you know, we, when we think of birds, they've got those beautiful songs they call, it could be something to do with that communication, but protecting birds, especially those that are endangered and their habitats. So whether you're working directly with preserving birds or whether you want to just, you know, send some energy to somewhere where you know that there's a bird endangered, or if you can visit that place, programming a crystal by holding it in the hand that you write with and seeing that bird flourishing in the future and burying that around the environment on an energetic level, that will help to support that intention. Of course, we want to make sure that we back that up and take whatever action we can to preserve that animal or that bird. But Blue Topaz has a special way of preserving birds. Now, if you have a, pay, a pet bird at home, popping a Blue Topaz, obviously one they're not going to swallow or get into harm, near their cage or their enclosure, their aviary, can also be really protective and help the bird as well. When we've been using a crystal a lot, or if you've got a brand new crystal, what you want to do is you want to bring it back to nature so it can find its own harmony, its own inner peace, and be as best for you. There are different ways of cleansing crystals, and when it comes to blue topaz, this is going to be one that's going to really relish being cleansed under the full moon. Now, you don't pop all your crystals under the full moon, but blue topaz will definitely really enjoy and thrive from that. To also enhance your crystals, you can bring in other gifts from Mother Earth that also harmonize with this crystal. So I love working with the plant kingdom and the essential oil that steps in when I'm working with blue topaz is one of the chamomiles. Probably German chamomile would be really powerful. It's both soothing and anti-inflammatory, so it gets rid of all that anger that we have in our body, but also can on an energy level. But German chamomile has this wisdom about it. And I also find that that wisdom is also found in that um, in, in blue topaz. So it's kind of allowing to car, be calm and composed and make the right decisions and say the right words, work really well with both German chamomile and blue topaz. The animal that steps forward is the stag. And I, I almost see like a white stag deer. Now, when we see a white stag deer or any stag deer, you know, they're very elegant. They've got their antlers that go up to the heavens. 
but their feet are firmly on the ground and they trebly, they, they tread gently. They, they gently tread on the earth as well. So this kind of energy, I hope that's really kind of bringing in um, Blue Topaz. So if you want to kind of get to know Blue Topaz more, you can just sit or carry it or meditate with it. But if you need a bit more of a personification, visualize a stag deer standing before you and telling you about what you need or what Blue Topaz has to offer you or how to use it the best. And that could be another really powerful way of working with it. Of course, Blue Topaz is associated with the moon and the moon rules Monday. So if you want to do anything really kind of powerful or important, doing it on a Monday, which is the power day of the moon, is going to also enhance anything you're doing with this crystal. So I'd love to hear about your experience with blue topaz. My bet is more people probably have it in jewelry, maybe faceted earrings or you know a ring or something like that than they do in a tumbled stone. How have you got blue topaz in your life? And what have you noticed when you wear it? Or what, how has it helped you? Please share with our nature loving community and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelow. Blessed be.